Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In today's tutorial we will be looking at how to connect a joystick module to the Arduino Uno and use it to put together a fun little project. Joysticks are a reliable and robust way of providing input into all kinds of devices and they are commonly used in game console controllers because they make it super easy to move things around in two-dimensional or three-dimensional space. There's a lot to cover in this video, so with that said, let's jump right in and get started. The first step is to look at the wiring between the Arduino Uno and the joystick module. I'm using the KY023 joystick module that also has a button press function. Before making any connections, be sure that your Arduino Uno board is not plugged into a USB slot and is also not receiving any power. Okay, so let's start by connecting Arduino's ground to the ground pin on the joystick module. Next, we have the 5 volt power pin, which will go to the corresponding pin on the joystick. Now we have the VRX pin, which detects the horizontal movement of the joystick, and this is connected to Arduino pin A0. The pin responsible for detecting vertical movement is VRY, and this connects to pin A1. Finally, we have the SW switch pin, which detects when the button on the joystick is pressed. And that's it. That's all the wiring done and dusted. Okay, so let's take a look at the code that we're going to be uploading to the Arduino Uno in order to test our joystick. We start off by defining the pins. So if you remember, we connected the VRX of the joystick to A0, the VRY to A1, and the switch to digital pin 2. Next, we move on to the setup function, and this is quite straightforward. The first thing we need to do is initialize serial communication because we want to be able to print to the serial monitor some feedback from our joystick as we move it around. Next, we are just activating the Arduino's internal pull-up resistor. This is just to make sure that when the button is not pressed on the joystick, that the state of the switch is going to be read in as high. All right, and now moving on to the loop function, this is of course where most of the stuff is going to happen. So we start off by reading in the values from our pins that we've defined up here. So we want to read in the analog values from the X and the Y directions on the joystick. And then of course we need to detect whether the switch has been pressed or not. The next part is this block of code, which is responsible for printing some feedback from the joystick module onto the serial monitor. So we print the X values, the Y values, and of course, we want to print whether or not the button has been pressed. Now, the last line in this block of code is quite interesting. I just want to go over this a tiny bit because this is actually an if statement inside of this print function. So the way this works is we are saying if the button state is equal to low, then you print the string pressed. Otherwise, which is indicated by the colon here, otherwise you print released. And finally, we have a delay function here, which is just going to delay by 100 milliseconds. Of course, you can change this to any value that you wish. All right, so I've built the circuit that we discussed earlier, and here's the joystick module. I've connected both of these to a scrap piece of plywood that I had lying around so that you can see everything in one place. And of course, I've connected a USB cable here that goes to my computer. So we can start uploading code to this Arduino Uno board. And to the left of the screen, hopefully you can see this coming into focus. I've got the code loaded up that we've just spoke about, and I'm ready to now hit the upload button. So let's go ahead and do that. Wonderful, so that's finished uploading. And now let's take a look at the serial monitor, and we can see that we've got values being printed out. All right, so let's take a look at this joystick now, and let's start moving this around. That's working absolutely Fantastic, that's exactly what we wanted. So when we move the joystick left and right, it updates the X values. When we move the joystick up and down, it updates the Y values. And of course, you can do both of them together in a circular motion here. And of course, when we click, the program is able to detect that we are clicking the button on the joystick. All right, great. And to finish off this video, let's take a look at using our joystick to play a very simple game that I made inside of Python using the Pygame library. You can download all the files for this game and the Arduino code from the description of this video, so be sure to go ahead and do that if you want to follow along. There's a few changes we need to make to the Arduino code to make sure it's going to work with our Python script. Since we don't need up and down movement in our game, 
I'm just going to disable the VRY functionality. We also need to change the values that are being read in from the joystick. Rather than having 0 to 1023, it makes much more sense to have minus 1 to 1, so that minus 1 indicates moving to the left, and plus 1 means moving to the right. I've also changed the serial printing code so that it just prints out 0 when the button is released and 1 when the button is pressed. Okay, so I've uploaded the modified code onto the Arduino Uno board and I've fired up PyCharm, which is the development environment that I use to do all my Python work. So let's run this script and start playing the game. Cool. Okay, and here we are. I'm going to move my joystick left and right and you can see the spaceship moving. And when I click, you can see the uh, spaceship is firing these lasers. I mean, how cool is that? Using the Arduino and just a single component, you can play any kind of game that requires simple movement like this. The Python program is using the serial data from the Arduino Uno to move the spaceship around and shoot lasers when the button on the joystick is clicked. Communicating between Arduino and Python is actually a massive subject, and I will be making more videos about that in the future because there's just such an amazingly cool amount of stuff that you can do with Arduino and Python together. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.